Okay, okay, so here's the idea. What we're doing is we're gonna visualize sound. We're gonna talk about a large speaker and that speaker's gonna be conducting sound through a glass tube. Now, that glass tube is filled with a whole bunch of little pellets of styrofoam. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna press it and we're gonna have different hertz, we're gonna have different frequencies, but what we can also do is we can change the volume provided the uh, exhibit is working properly. So that's the idea. Let's take a look here. So, if you'll notice, we have kind of everything laying in a sine wave as it is, but let's run it. What you can clearly see, especially from this angle, is that you're going to have peaks and valleys, but when I let off, they go back to that middle baseline. Now, let's change the volume here a little bit, and you'll notice I get almost nothing because I've turned it down. So they're wiggling, they're moving, but they're not super uh, active. So let's go ahead and let's really crank it up. There we go, we got some bass notes. Now, here's something I'm also noticing. The bass notes have some huge amplitude right here at the beginning, and then they taper off as we move down the tube. Okay, let's change this from super bass, and we're gonna adjust the frequency. So the actual volume doesn't change, it's the frequency of the notes. Now you'll notice they're not as high, but they're closer together. So you'll also notice is they go farther down the pipe before they start tailing off. And the reason is because we're putting more of that pressure more often, so it's lasting further. Let's go high frequency. And high frequency, you don't see anything near the front but now, hopefully you can see, they're lining up in rows, but they're only about one little pellet tall because that one little pellet is about the width of the frequency. So let's go super high pitch, and I can't hear it. That doesn't mean it's not there. It simply means that it's too small. That means those wavelengths are getting so small because frequency is so high that it's not moving a pellet that is a certain width. So that's why this exhibit shows up so much better when we start looking at it at the lower ranges. So this interaction between frequency, wow, okay. Now that's something that's really weird. I turned it way the other way, and I am not seeing any wave at all. But it's a very deep sound I'm hearing. I don't know if you can hear that or not. And they're all shaking. And the reason is because instead of a frequency being so high that it's smaller than the piece of styrofoam, or about correctly spaced so that you can see little rows of foam, this wave starts from here and I think it, it ends about here. Let's see if we can catch it. Yeah, they're definitely moving all the way down to about this point in the tube. Well, why would it only move to about this point in the tube? Because this is likely the halfway point of its actual period, because when it comes back to center, you're not gonna see movement at all. So just to give you an idea of the frequency and its effect, it really is pretty powerful.